podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Mr. Maker. What's going on? Not none of you, my dad. Walk on. Man, hey man, <laughs> say man, check it, man. We got this special guest in here today, y'all. She's been doing this a long time. She's been on different uh, networks where I've seen her really just displaying her art with the tattooing that she does man mm -hmm. um, she also uh, she's a rapper mm -hmm. she raps she's an artist I don't artist like to say all rap, around you art, know what artist. I mean check it man Michelle Elise is in the building what's up y'all how y'all doing stop playing what, what she I in do? here <laughs> it happened she on Boss Talk 101 like my boy Lil Run and say what a boss is talk what a boss is talk mm -hmm. man like <laughs> yeah so how you doing I'm doing good doing man good. it's just an honor and a pleasure for Thank you to you come on me. Boss Talk 101, Thank you. show us this love. We only been at this for a little over a year. Oh wow! And uh, yeah, but the, we, but the store has been here 15 years. Yeah, the store wow. been here 15 years. I'm a black yeah. entrepreneur. Newer nigga, you don't talk about <laughs> holla at your I boy. Knew you say that. <laughs> <laughs> I never heard that. I like that. <laughs> and, and that's the, the and it's not the nigger, it's nigga. Nigga. Yeah, for yeah, sure. yeah. For never sure. ignorant, getting goals accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how is it like like uh, in Dallas? I mean, being that you from Arizona, right? Right. Wow. But how is it like you being <laughs> being from Dallas? Like, like I'm being in Dallas and seeing the way the music has turned because mm -hmm. you've been here for a while. Yeah. Uh, just seeing how things, and I'm gonna go back into your backstory because yeah. she liked to do that. Yeah. Okay. But how is it for you the music and just the the way music is looking right now in the city? In the city, um, I'm excited. I'm excited. I've been around for a minute in the music scene. Um, I was a painter first in the music scene, so I painted on stage and did different concerts and stuff like that. Um, so I've seen the progression of, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've seen the progression Party. of the, uh, mm -hmm. the Dallas music scene. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like people are going hard. I feel like, I feel like everybody's trying to be different, sound different, finally. Dope. <laughs> but you're talking about overall, so how is it for females? Mm. For females, I would say it's the same thing. It's a little, um, it's a little different. I find females are starting to sound a little bit the same. Everybody want to sound like Meg or Cardi. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Or as far as the content, I'll say that. Okay. What they're talking about is a little different. But yeah, well, that's why you have me. I'm different. You different. Uh. So let's go back. We want to go back first. Okay. okay. I want to know about a little Nichelle. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> before you moved to Texas, how old were you when you moved here? Ooh, I was six, 16, 17. Oh, so you're, you're still grown. So you yeah. remember things before. So yeah, tell us about how it was growing up. In uh, Arizona? Mm -hmm. Well, is Arizona? Because Arizona is, I know this country <laughs> and it's hot. <laughs> Arizona what is there to warm. do in Arizona? I didn't do anything. I went to school. I uh, We learned how to survive in the heat. Mm. So we did heat survival classes. How do you survive in the heat? Um, so like we would, so we had to play outside when it was 110 degrees. They made mm -hmm. us go outside. So they made us learn how to um, cool off, like put the paper towel, the wet paper towel on your back of your neck, put it on your wrist. You know, different things like that because people would pass out on the playground all the time. And they teach you this hot. in school. Yeah, they taught wow. us how to make food outside with like a convention. Uh, it's like an oven you make. I made cinnamon rolls. It was good. <laughs> I remember that. But um, yeah, it was just, that's why I left. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it was too hot. <laughs> it was too hot. It wasn't much Texas going is on. Texas hot? Texas is hot, but Arizona is like the driest heat you ever going to find. Okay, well, I've said the same thing about Vegas. I know Vegas is not very far from Arizona, but mm -hmm. what's the difference between the heat in Vegas compared to the heat in Arizona? About the same. Is it's it? desert. Desert vibes, for sure. Yeah. It's real deserty. Dry. It's like a dry heat. It's that heat. dry heat because, like I tell anybody, I said, if you want, and I've never been out of come out of a microwave but it feels that way yeah like if i'd imagine what it feels like walking into a microwave <laughs> when i'm walking out of the, the hotel and into the it's atmosphere it's terrible that's that's what it feels yeah. like yep it's i'm happy to be in texas i'll tell you that brothers <laughs> or sisters i have two brothers two brothers i got an older brother and mm -hmm. i got a little brother so i'm okay. the middle child no only you're girl. the only girl only girl wow mom and dad together oh yeah for sure that's good yes. you know we i ask that question a lot and i want to say 80 percent of people are like nah mom yeah dad is usually over here and mom is the one who take take care, care of them that's what it is for I, my son i i take care of my son by myself 
Mm-hmm. So, yep, it'd be like that for sure. But why is it that way? Why is it never the dad take responsibility <sighs> and take the child, especially a boy? Right. You know what I mean? And take that responsibility. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like it's been like that for a really long time. Um, mm. I couldn't tell you. I guess society would frown more upon a woman if she was like, no, nah, mm. I'm not going to do nothing. You know what I mean? Like, right. I have friends who have kids or male friends who have kids and like, Maybe two of them, the the, the uh, baby mother is not really around. And you're like, that is so weird. weird. But like, oh, the daddy not around. Oh, okay, yeah. That's normal. <laughs> like, what in the world? But it, it, is um, your child's father involved in his N- life? No. No, no. no, 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 no. You say no. it like that, like. No. That's your no. choice. Because uh, that's what it yes sounds no. like. It's, um, you know, sometimes when you have someone that... Let me see how I can word this. Um, is more of a hazard to your child and yourself. You And they don't really do a good job as a father anyway. And they don't really care. Mm-hmm. You just say, okay, I'm going to protect my, my kid. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Keep them safe. Well, let me be the devil's advocate. Okay. What would make you be with a guy like that? So I was young. And I was manipulated. I was young. I didn't really know much. Um I've taken responsibility though. Like I'm not like, oh, he ain't. I don't get on social media and talk about him. Mm-hmm. I know I made a mistake. I love my child, and he's a blessing. How old is your child now? Seven. Oh, okay, he's a baby. Mm-hmm. But um, I had to come to terms. Like, okay, well, regardless of like how it happened, and technically, right. he's like, here. I, he's huh? He's here. He's here, and he's here, and he's doing great. He's an amazing kid. But you know, I did do that. Well, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna keep our prayers. For mm. that father to exactly. come around, yeah, we want him to come around and be. I, at I some still point, you know, sometimes, sure. you know, because I've seen people that was crazy. I may have even looked in the mirror and seen it. <laughs> and God, I know He can change of people. Of course, you know what I mean. Mm-hmm. So I just don't ever play with the power of God. Uh, okay. That's just me, my belief. I no, don't push my belief on too. nobody else. I just know mm-hmm. that if you pray for people and if you really believe um, that people can change. P- things can change especially because i always feel like a, a child needs both parents need in their both. life yes. not it doesn't have to always be under the same roof yeah. if possible that's great yeah. but active in their life because yeah. every a child boy or girl go through stages where yeah. you can't deal with that child and no. he can and vice versa exactly my son is very uh he responds well to like male males mm-hmm. kind of tell him what to do. Like I have him in a program where it's a bunch of people from my church, males from our church. They have a golf program, so he goes every week. But they teach him how to be, you know, your mama shouldn't be picking up your bag. Why you have her doing that? Your mama should. You need to be doing these things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just get putting some um, discipline on him. Right. So, you know. That's I'm good. trying. I'm trying to get him. You know, thing, influence. Man. Come on, man. Just to, <laughs> to be, you know. Um, to be a mother Oof. is a uh, is a blessing. Of you course. know, there's people like Hannah in the Bible and mm-hmm. uh, Elizabeth, and uh, just different people who had tests and trials and who couldn't have, have children, kids. who wanted to have children. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So for you to even have a child and you mm-hmm. is a blessing. Is a blessing. Of you know, course. so so to have a son. Come on, <laughs> he's now. dope. That's it's lit. Do you want more? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, what? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, whatever God, you know, throw my way. So let's go back to, okay, so when you moved to Texas, you were 16, so you didn't move here by yourself. You moved here with, with your mom. With my mom, family, for sure. Okay, yeah. mom and dad, brothers, yeah. and so forth. Yeah. And, um, but you were, when did you find your love for art? I've always loved art. Oh, my goodness. Since I was a little, little thing. I was like three, maybe. Who introduced it to you? My That's, babysitter. Yeah. <laughs> my babysitter, she needed something for me to do. She, um, she was a, 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 fashion designer oh so she would be drawing her dresses and i would be drawing whatever i was drawing and that's how we kind of we got through the little babysitting session okay that's <laughs> yeah. cool and that's good that you found a love for, so you were like a great kid because you know how when you have a kid that find a passion at early stage I just sat there, and just sat there day, to, all day doing <laughs> wow. arts and crafts every and your day. parents supported it oh yeah they've always supported me always and when did you realize that this has become now a passion how old were you um a passion because you know how when you're young you're just doing something you're just doing it because you like right. it you love it you know but like i think when i started buying books trying to learn more when i was 10 about 10 mm-hmm. years old i have family members who do art so i'm like hey auntie can you help me learn how to draw these eyes the right way you know i'm i'm trying i'm, I'm looking for knowledge and i'm trying to get better every day i figured yeah this is this is a part of me like, mm. i'm really putting forth the effort to 
to get better. Mm-hmm. Some people just draw and they doodle and but I'm like, okay, let me read this book. Let me get a book on sketching hands. Let me get a book on drawing buildings and cars and all types of stuff. But so. at that age, did you know that there was a career in it? Yeah. Or you were just... I knew because my aunt does graphic design. Okay. My, my, my other aunt, she do she do art. My uncles do art. So, so. it's in the family. Yeah, it's in the family. Mm. <laughs> so what, at first, what did you want to become? Because you didn't want to become a tattoo artist at first. Mm. I mean, so... I'm going to say this. When I was probably like 13-ish, mm-hmm. I discovered tattooing. And I always said, oh, man, I want to I wanna do that. How did you discover it? I was watching TV. I was watching TV. <laughs> <laughs> watching TV, and there was a tattoo show on or something was going on on TV. Um, and I realized, wow, I could draw on people and get money for it. That's crazy. I'm about to try that. I never knew how I was going to actually do it. Mm-hmm. Um, I went and tried to do fashion design and all the other stuff, but I always said I wanted to do tattoos and I wanted to get tattoos. So I was drawing my little tattoos out. Like, I'm gonna get this when I turn 18. This is what I'm getting. Like, it was ugly, but this is what I'm getting. Like, this, that would not have worked as a, as a tattoo, but yeah, I've always been into it. So did you go to school for it? I did. Mm-hmm. Went for to Texas art? Women. Yeah. Okay. I did. I went to Texas Women's University for uh, wow. drawing and painting, or painting and drawing, how you say it. Mm-hmm. Two years. Or four years. Four. Four years? Yeah. Okay. And you oh, majored yeah. in that. How is it easy, hard? It was so easy for me. Because you loved it. It was easy for me. It was almost too easy, though. Shout out, shout out to Texas Women's, but, like, it was so easy. I was like, okay. They're like, yeah, this is good. This is good. This is good. It was never like, maybe you should put that tree over there. And it's probably maybe because you should... you're talented. Yeah, but even talented, or maybe because you should it's be a pushed. School. Maybe it's a school. You know, what is the best art school in Dallas? Ooh. I'm actually not sure. It's a good question. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't went to school like in New York. You know what I mean? Like I, if I had the if you had to do it all over to, again, yeah, I'd probably go to like New York or something, New York? something like that. I don't know. Why? I see, for I a relationship why. building, just to meet people. No, because I feel whenever I go to New New York, it's art everywhere. It's more embraced. I feel like uh, like. Did you feel? Uh, how, did you see the art when you was there? Mm, that's why I saw it a lot in Washington. And we went to DC. Okay, and, that's and, dope. But I didn't see it a lot in New, New York. York. Really? When we go to New York, but you probably we knew where to go. Yeah, we were yeah, in Manhattan. Like, oh, it's like Brooklyn, Harlem, yeah. stuff yeah, like we that. Yeah, we, we, we didn't, we didn't know. You went to the hood. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> love that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we went to Queens because my cousin lived in Queens, but okay. I still didn't really. I've never see been to Queens. I go to. I Brooklyn went to Queens Harlem. because that's where coming to America. It de- okay. goes <laughs> I'm just gonna be real with you. That's where I be at. Okay. Because that's where Hakeem met his wife his that's girl true. his true love it is, it mm. is. that's <laughs> what better to meet a queen at for a king okay I hear queen. That. I but hear no that. um i think you're one of the um dopest uh females that uh are you gonna give me 16 on here you got you got you want me to give you a 16 heck yeah i didn't okay uh-huh. what do you mean yeah, yeah we'll get you don't okay. trip. i got i got a card i'm gonna so get you too okay okay so b- before we get into that no we're not gonna do it now i just let her get <laughs> ready she better be thinking over there i am thinking you know I'm what thinking. we could do i love the one with you when you stood on the last one latest one that you did with the mic oh, and everything um Shelly Giuseppe. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, that should be here. Yeah, yeah, that should be here. That should have okay. went down on Boss Talk, just like that. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, then gotcha. took it out there. You know okay, what I'm talking about? Okay, I hear that. My bad. So, but, <laughs> okay, so um, we're tattooing, because you went to school for tattooing. Mm-hmm. When you go to school for art, is it art, or are you going to school for tattooing? Art. Art. I did an apprenticeship, though. Okay, I so. I did an apprenticeship while, Okay, while you're in school. So yep. did the school actually help you to get an apprenticeship, or no. you had to go get it? No. I had to go get it. So you had to go get it. How I, did you? Because this networking gets you everything nowadays. So yeah. how did you do that? So um, networking is a big part of it. I'm not gonna lie. So uh, how um, I had said earlier that I was a painter. Mm-hmm. So everyone knew me as being this painter chick. So when I so uh, hold on, stop. Yeah. So you were painting while you were going to school. Yeah. Were you painting on stage at that time? Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I would go to class and run and go do a show. Okay, so how did so, okay? So let me go reverse before For you sure. answer that question. Uh-huh. So how did you get on stage? How did you get? Because networking gets you everywhere, everywhere. too. Mm-hmm. So how did you? Because when we go to Vegas for clothing shows, mm-hmm. we've seen those people mm-hmm. with the music going on and they're painting and yeah. doing all these crazy mm-hmm. different. You know, they're some people are dancing while they're painting yep. just to make it look different. Yeah. So um, how do you get there? Oh um, man, I haven't thought about that since it happened. Uh, I oh, I know what happened. I painted a picture of this like cool little monkey guy sitting on this couch. It was a purple couch, 
and then everything else was blue and like real cool it's like cool colors what you mm -hmm. call them um i posted on facebook and it went viral like mm -hmm. like we like to mm -hmm. say viral um and i got hit up from everybody like oh my god you did this painting can i get a print and da, 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 da. so then i did a time lapse of it and did another one did a time lapse started posting time lapse videos on youtube so people could see my process and it really just went up from there. I met people um, doing hip hop mics and stuff like that. And they're like, hey, I think, what if we put art and hip hop mic together? What do you think that would look like? So that's really how it started. It was just it. a little experiment. <laughs> was it nervous? Because I always wonder, I'm like, if somebody hip is doing music, because doing art is, is, it doesn't take you 10 minutes to do it, it takes no. you a while to do it. Yeah. So do you actually get on stage and paint and they're done with their hip hop, but you're not done with your art? Um, how much pressure is that to finish this by a certain lie. time? It was at first I was shaking. I was shaking like a stripper on right. stage. I was so scared. Um, yeah. my first show was at the Palladium, I believe. It was and a that's big, big show. It was a very big show. And that was your first show. First show ever. Oh my gosh, wow. I was so scared. But that's how a lot of people found me. Like they thought they were at that show and they saw me painting on live. Got mm -hmm. my little Instagram and all my What Facebook did you paint info. that day? Um, I painted a like a really cool um, gas mask looking mm -hmm. thing with like bright colors flying off of it and stuff like so that. So you so when you're doing something like that, you don't paint something that's very intricate. Something that you paint nah. it sort of like easy so you can hurry up and get it done and over with. Um Maybe just more expressive and minimal at the same time. So it wasn't like super, super detailed like you were saying. Right. But it could be read from somebody at the back of the venue. Okay. So that was a major part of it. Like I could do something cute and small, but can you see it from the last person in the back of the venue? So it was, uh, I made it a point to make it something that everybody could see from where mm -hmm. they were standing. Do you get, did you get a lot of work? From that? Yeah. Yeah. So how did you manage school? <laughs> with all the work you and were getting and, and, <laughs> and the baby and all of that. How did you manage all of that? Um, I don't know. I don't know. That's just how I am. I, I like being busy. So it's go to class, drop in Denton, and you're about to drive to Dallas and do this show, drive back so you could be, you know, up for class at 7 a.m. Not going to lie, I failed my, uh, I failed one class because of that. But I changed my major so it don't even matter because I <laughs> went for fashion design first. And I kept missing that sewing class at 7 a.m. Mm. because I was out hustling, you know. So they're like, um, at the, end of the, at the end of the semester, she was like, um, yeah, you need to change your major because you can't sew. I was like, dang, all right. <laughs> so I changed it to art, and here we are. But, um, yeah, I was just hustling, really. Mm. I, I like that. I like, okay, let me go here. Let me do this. I'm going to do that. I just, I've seen it work for me, so why not? But were you tattooing? When did you start tattooing? Mm -hmm. Did you tattoo after college after no, um, in college in, in college. so you yeah. were tattooing in college yeah, 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 yeah so you don't need so to tattoo can anybody just tattoo or you need a certificate do you need a depending license? on where you live depending on where you live you always need a license but in texas um the shop has to have a license so you don't have to be licensed yourself but any you have to work in a shop so any shop you work in has to be licensed so you're mm -hmm. under a license mm -hmm. in texas so that's i just went and did an apprenticeship and I was licensed under that shop. So tell me how you met that person to do the apprenticeship. And where was Instagram, it? Instagram, I believe. They saw me doing them art shows and, and painting live. And uh, we just had a brief conversation. Like, hey, what do you think about being our first apprentice? First like, apprentice? Yeah, I was their first apprentice ever. Um, wow. So they just, I went, in, okay, so listen. A, apprenticeship, you're not supposed to tattoo anybody for the first year. Sometimes even two years. Just, right. Because <laughs> technically what they're doing is for that first year... For that first year, that second year, you're learning how to draw. You're like, it's like you're in art school. You're yeah, learning how to draw. Yeah, but boring. Mm-hmm. It's not boring. Because I'm like, it's like you I'm still, watching you do, like, I, I, because if I come learn. in, because if I come in, I feel like I can already draw. I already know what but I'm if doing. if you can already draw, it might cut down the time, for sure. Like, me, it cut down my time that I tattooed the next day. Like, oh. I tattooed. Uh, I say I went on Monday I was tattooing on Tuesday Oh, oh So it just okay. depends on who, who you are What you got going on mm -hmm. So for me I tattooed The first 48 hours That I was an apprentice But that's not common at all How hard is it to Because when you're drawing Because I mm -hmm. see my daughter Draw all the time mm -hmm. And you're using brushes And the, the colors And stuff mm -hmm. like that But now you're going to A tattoo gun Right Where A machine A machine I'm sorry No you're fine um, <laughs> Where you have to be careful of how deep you go, of course. how light you go, all of that sort of stuff. Definitely. How hard it was for you to try to learn that and transition to that? Um, it was hard. It, was, it wasn't even hard. It's getting over the fear of doing it wrong. You just have to do it. 
So like I always went too light at first when I was an apprentice. It was like, oh, this is, it wasn't like the contrast wasn't there. I wasn't punching it in because I was afraid. I'm not going to lie. But some people will just drop that needle right into somebody's arm. And I'm like, dang, you about to scar this person. So it's just figuring out your hand. You're going to have to mess some people up here mm. and there to get better or get fakes. You still got to, you still going to mess people up. Wow. You know, um, when I look at, uh, you know, you, uh, and they put you off for of Ink Master on that uh, mm. 13th uh, season. <laughs> I want to know yeah. uh, just uh, how disappointing it was. And why were you such a, a, a blamer? You just blamed the other person. Like, mm -hmm. like theirs, theirs wasn't good enough. I mean, which is, yeah. which is dope. I mean, because you're saying, hey, I seen. But okay. I just wanted to know about that season, just how it was. Just run me down that road to even how, how it was being on that show. And, and just how, you know, just give me the rundown. Ooh. Um... So I was minding my business one day and I got a call and they asked if I wanted to do it or email or something like that. They asked if I wanted to be on Ink Master season 13. Of course, I said yes, because that was a personal goal of mine. <laughs> um, and how long were you doing um, tattooing at that time? Um, I like four years, five oh, years. Oh, so not like that. that long. Not long, no. I had like probably the least amount of experience. Maybe one other person had the same amount of experience, but um. It was a, it was an experience. I'll say that. Um, a lot of adversity I had to get over. Um, it's, it's one thing like going on a reality show where you're just yourself, like, like Black Ink or something like that, and you're just showing your personality. But it's another thing to have to show your personality, and then produce work that you don't have time to really prepare for. Like they tell you what you're doing, and you're about to just figure it out and tattoo it right there. It's a lot. It's a lot of pressure. So, I. Didn't know it was going to be like that. I didn't know it was going to be so stressful. And so you don't get a lot of sleep. How much politics was involved? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you mean? As far like, as like, like favoritism or you, you know, or somebody like, like, cause yeah. a lot of times things, you, even though you don't want to want that type of thing to be a thing. Right. But it's always there. It's, it's always, always there, there it's because, entertainment. yeah, it's because TV. somebody might have knew somebody or anything. I'm just right. asking you how much did I'm politics sure. play a part in it? I'm not sure what played a part in anything. I was just there trying to survive Have as a contestant. I don't know. When they make you stand, like, they made us stand, um, they make you stand, you know, when you're getting judged, you have to stand there with everybody. Mm -hmm. The first person that went up, her tattoo was terrible. It was so bad. And everybody talked about it before. Like, they make you talk about, who do you think is going to go home? And then we talk about it. And there was other people. No one said my name. No one. Everybody thought it was a beautiful tattoo. And then when they critiqued that it. same person, thank you. When they were critiqued that same person that everybody was dogging on, they said it was beautiful. Mm. And that's when I knew. I literally, if they could have showed it, I looked to my left and said, I'm going home. And I looked back to the camera. Because you knew it was something other I knew. than your work. I was like, I'm going home. It was you, so bad. You knew it was so something bad. other than your art. Yeah, I was like, yo. Everybody said it was bad. That's the politics I'm yeah, talking about. That's what you're saying. Because it's always there. It's mm -hmm. always the mess is there. Mm -hmm. Even on jobs, it's always something. And, and, and it's, it's going to forever be as long as we got humans in it because the behavior patterns and the way that they look at things a lot of times. And mm -hmm. certain people may be the grand wizard, wizard with the Ku Klux Klan or, or right. whatever. Mm -hmm. Some people may, and they, they're not going to tell you this is what mm -hmm. they're dealing with. This is something internally that they're be, they can't kick. And right. they're going to play it off and try to figure out a way to inject it into what they're trying to yeah. accomplish. So I'm not and, saying that's what they did, but I'm saying no, it no, makes no, sense I'm just how saying. TV works. But I can't remember how many other black people were a on A lot of black show. people. Black there are black people. Right. Me, but we go home very soon. <laughs> we <laughs> black there girls don't been, last long. Go and look. Black women, has, for whatever reason, we don't. Have stay there ever been long. a black person that won? There was one guy. Uh, what's his name? Oh my God, Anthony something. That's bad. But he was. It was one guy, but he didn't look black. He okay. looked like oh maybe he's Puerto Rican or something, or okay. maybe he's. And he was very like, I just want them to know that I did my best. On my you know, like he was not <laughs> he was a strong black, black man. Mm. He was like, yeah, wow. I just, I've never done it before. So I, I hope the judges really like my tattoo. I'm like, what, what is this? He could have <laughs> been doing an act because he know what it is, too. Right. No, I think yeah. that's how he is. Cause I mean, I've I, seen I, it. He okay. talks like that. You're right. Okay. I've seen, you know, people that do yeah. that. I know they people do that. They know how to gay, play. That do different things right. and keep jobs. Oh, right. wow. That's oh, he go hard. It's, yeah. it's a thing. But it's a thing. That's crazy. People know how to play. What play the part. Play I was myself. Part. I was like, y'all about to just get this because I'm not about to do all that. But mm -hmm. yes, yeah, it's, it's a whole nother but world. But did it boost your career just to even yeah. be on the show? Definitely. Yeah, yeah, because 
people know that they like my work. So I've been busy since since it aired. <laughs> I've been booked and busy since it aired, That's for sure. Dope. Any city I go to, I'm booked. How do you market? I just kind of get on social media and that, that's post it. I'll, much be, it. Yeah. I'll be here. I'll I don't be do there. much. Yeah, I don't do too much marketing. I'm not that good at it. So, so yeah. you would advise any artist to to be on one of those shows to try to boost um, their career? Boost their career? Because it could yeah, break you too. Being, it can break you. Because you, I know some people went on there and did some bad tattoos and, and can't get it, work. And and you just go on YouTube and see this terrible tattoo. Why? Why would I, would I go to you to get a tattoo? I seen that you did this tattoo on Ink Master. It was bad. So, so it can, it can make, make or break, break you. you, definitely. Oh, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Have you ever met a tattoo artist that don't have any tattoos? No, but I've I've heard of these people. <laughs> <I've> heard, <they're laughs> I've heard of these folks before, and they make money. If your work is good and and people like your work, what can you do? But I hear some people say, "Oh, I would never go to a tattoo artist that don't have tattoos." That's what people say. So you see a tattoo artist, you're like, "Dang, I like their work," and then you meet them, they ain't got no tattoos. You are gonna walk out? You, mm. you like the tattoo? You might as well get the tattoo. But even like the way how you're dressed right now, I can't see your tattoo. So you can still be dressed a certain way that you have tattoos yeah. and you can't see them. I just don't have my arms tattooed. I have everything else tattooed. Just not mm. my arms and my chest because I do other stuff. So it's like, I don't want to be typecasted or like, you know, I want, right. I want Which my makes face sense. tatted. I want my face tatted. You do? I do. But I won't. I won't. Let me let me ask you. Um, did we get all the tattoo? Uh, <laughs> y'all tattooed this thing to death, you know. For thirty minutes, y'all been doing it. No, but at least seventeen, seventeen and twenty. I want to talk about the music a little bit before okay. we end this, man. Um, just uh, talk about you know your uh, career, how, the love for music. Like, um, I mean, are you trying to? I mean, because the last music you kind of whispered. Are you trying to go with that new trend? No. Or, or I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm listening. I'm listening. That voice. No, I, voice. I heard the other ones early on was like, wow, da 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 I just started during quarantine. So I started in 2020. Me and Lardy did that song and it went mm -hmm. viral. Mm -hmm. I love that and song. Then, Thank you. That was fun. And then I dropped my single after that. And I was very aggressive on the beat because I didn't, that's all I knew how to do. I just knew how to yell in the mic. Not yell in the mic, but, you know, yell in the mic. How long ago was that? 2020. 2020. Okay. Mm -hmm. 2020, 2021 ish. Yeah. So when did you figure out you what could was rap? It? What, was the, what was the name of the song? <laughs> Uh, which one? The one you was just talking about, you and you and Lardy. Lardy. Oh, WAP. It was WAP. a WAP. WAP. She, she was, was on, on there. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's, that was that's, me. that's when I saw her for the first yeah. time. No, I didn't go that to was, that. I went to you by yourself. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was yeah. But the first song was the WAP song, WAP song was Lardy. Song. Okay. So that's what got me like in the door. Basically. Okay, I get it. Yeah. But how long before that you were rapping? Not that long. So okay. So and why did I you told rap? you? Remember I told you I was around music for mm -hmm. so long. Mm -hmm. I was inspired forever i'm an artist i just like creating i like different mediums i like the challenge so when i was around these people like we did tde stuff like schoolboy q i painted on on stage live kendrick lamar all these people but i was like okay well i'm the tattoo girl i'm the art girl i'm not supposed to venture out and try and do music but i knew i knew everything i needed to know i was around these people i was picking the openers for these people i knew what was good music but i was kind of trying to stay in my lane mm -hmm. as a visual artist so during quarantine i was going crazy because i couldn't do anything and i was stuck in the house <laughs> um and i said you know what um i'm gonna try it i'm gonna try it i have nothing else to do i have all the time in the world to write all the time in the world to figure out these rhyming schemes let's just do it and that's really how it happened like i was like this is the only time i'm gonna have where nothing's pulling me anywhere i have time to just sit but, down and write and you 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 wrote your own verses for what yeah Okay. I did. Me and Lardy went in the studio. Like we did that. Okay, she said, "Hey, I want to do this um, this uh, parody with you." Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. We went to the studio the next day. Then we shot the video the day after that. <laughs> like it was like boom, it boom, went boom, so boom. Quickly. It was like seventy-two hour turnaround from like her idea to it coming out on YouTube. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Crazy. Did, did what? What was the craziest things that happened after that? Cause I know that I know it did numbers. Mm -hmm. It did, it did. It's got I don't know like three, four million views on yeah. YouTube. Yeah. So what, did anybody ask you about it, or had had anybody noticed you for being on it? Yeah, a lot of my clients come in and they're like, "You did that song? I didn't know I you love did that song. My daughter loves that song. It keeps going like viral over right. and over. Yeah. Right. 
So it's always someone like, that was you. Mm-hmm. That was you. You know, so, yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um, when you, uh, what, tell me about the song, What They Want. What They Want. So that was my first single. Um, that was me on my little braggadocious vibes. That's, That's the what one I, I'm talking about when you get to it. Yeah, I was getting to it. I was, I was, uh, I was being as braggadocious as I could. Um, I was having fun with it. I wanted to see how how far I could push it. What I could say that to to make people look at me differently than other female rappers, because I didn't want to talk about you know the normal stuff. Mm-hmm. The city girls. I like city girls, and I turn up to city girls, but I didn't want to be another one. There's already the city girls. So what can I do to be different? Now what? Let's talk about uh, uh pay for it. Pay for it. I like that song. That song, um, that was just a song I was playing around with. I made, like I made a little studio in my house and I played the beat. My brother was there and I just started mumbling it though. Like da na 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 He's like, That's a dope cadence. So I was like, Okay, let me see. Started writing and then Goods is a battle rapper. Mm-hmm. He's like a well known battle rapper. He was yeah, like, he Hey, I wanna do a song with you, but I don't wanna do something like what they want. I wanna do something different so i sent him like hey i just did this reference track kind of just trying to figure something out like trying to sound a little different what you think he's like that's perfect i want to do that and that's literally how it, that's how it happened yeah he's like that's different and i want to get on that we're gonna do it so i notice you do a lot of features with like you, a lot of these songs have features on them um right now no. i mean like two three yeah. two three songs then i want to i want to ask about what do you think that um you'll ever do something with the tattoo and why are you rapping? Oh, yeah, it's coming. Mm. It's coming. Oh. Yeah. You see coming. what I'm saying? Because yeah. you could be doing that and then. But how hard would that be? It won't be hard, hard because you ain't for to be really tattooing. You're just going to be acting a lot yeah, of time. Yeah, I got, I got visuals coming from <laughs> yeah, that. I, I shot a video like that. I just haven't put it out. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I just was stuff. thinking, I'm like. Yeah, it's been advised that I need to. I started to like try and separate everything. Do and they're like, that's what makes you makes different. You, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So I'm working on. Doing both so of them you can tell I'm a good time. manager. I'm already working. Yeah. Oh, I know what I'm doing. Let's get it. For sure. But no, so so a top three artist of all time, dead or alive. Dead or alive. Number one. Any genre. Any genre. Mm-hmm. I like that. Number one. Number one. Um, Missy Elliott. I love that's her. That's your number so one. Missy that Elliott. creativity. Yeah. That's just what the you creativity love. that yeah, I, 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 I listen can to see her. that. Yes, I love Missy. Really? Um, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick mm-hmm. Lamar. Obviously. Yeah. I put a lot of people on to Kendrick when I first heard about him. Number three. Number three of all time. Uh, I'm a Libra. We're so bad at picking <laughs> things. Um, three is always the one to give him trouble anyway. So you ain't, you know. Yeah, and that's everyone. You normal as hell. I mean, we could say Michael Jackson because. Money Mike! No. <laughs> he got the yeah, most. Ben, because, the you know, he showed us how to be a super. That. Like, mm-hmm. he did it all. Like, dancing and music. And, like, nobody. I feel like he was, like, the first superstar. You know what yeah. I mean? He showed us how to do it. So why not? So when, when I think about it, you said uh, Missy Elliott is your number one. Um, K Breezy, she's a dope she's artist, fire. and she's and she kind of put me in the mind of that. Yeah, what um would you be willing to work with her? I love her. Yeah. I be seeing her on Instagram doing yeah. her thing. She you should reach out to her. She yeah, dope. You're so right. I'd love to Actually, see you and her work. That'd together. be fire. I'm just no, thinking she's of the style. Very she can go. Creative. She probably wanted to uh, in Dallas. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Lyrically, Not that many. lyrically in Dallas, that from Dallas or from yeah. I, She's I put fire. my money on her. Yeah, she like is fire. I, she came in here and lit these mics up. That's fire. She ain't playing no she games. She ain't playing no games. No, no, she's so so dope. Like that's that's one of the one of the dope ones that came on. We'd have had some girls on here to mm-hmm. really go down through there, but she's one of those ones. She's so fire. you said you've painted with Kendrick Lamar on stage. On stage, before. yeah, TD stuff. Mm-hmm. And um, would you ever do a feature with him? What? <laughs> what? What? That's a crazy question. <laughs> oh my I'm gosh, just saying, be because since you already have that network and you already, you know, right. in the door somewhat, mm-hmm. like why not reach um, out? That's a lot of money. That's a lot. That's unless, a lot. But it's not to say it would never. Right, I'm about to say it, but it can happen. It yeah, can happen. God so I'll never say it wouldn't happen. But you know, we'll see what happens in the future. That would be amazing. I'll cry. Mm. <laughs> I'll cry right then and there. <laughs> yeah, I For sure. Smile. Keep on talking. So um, I wanted to know, so when, okay, going back to tattooing. Okay. Um, when you tattoo, how many of your tattoos percentage wise that you've ever done in your life on someone mm-hmm. is your creation compared to someone walking in and saying, hey, I want this tattoo. Right. Um, About 90% is mine. Huh? Yeah. 
Well, because I don't do the, let me have like a flash book where you can flip through things and pick something out that 20 people are. Or somebody already looked up and be like, okay, I want this design. You can tell me what you want, but I'm going to change it. Oh. Because if I do something that somebody else did already or um, like copy someone else's tattoo, because people will do that. Like, I want this tattoo on this, that this person got. If I go and post that on social media, people are going to look like people are going to talk crazy to me. That's my design. You stole my design. You making money off of my design. You know what I mean? Oh. So I I don't want to do that. I, don't want I didn't the know you can do that. You can't yeah. do that because you have all these tattoo designs and people always look, oh, I love this. I love this. I'm going right. to get this. Da, 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 da. So I got to go to this tattoo mm-hmm. shop and, you know, get it. Yeah. I thought that people all I have to do, do that, is come to you and say, this is what of I course. want. That's what I'm going to get. Right. And you can do, you can find artists that will copy what's there now if it's something that's like flash or something like that that was intended to be produced a billion times Mm -hmm. over that's cool maybe i'll do it or like a lion that's like yeah like you know but i'm not gonna take this person's design line for line and just copy it okay i don't want this i don't want no smoke (laughs) yeah people get really social media has allowed people to really get bold and they will, they will, they will go off on you. Yeah, social media. <laughs> I will like that go now. off if I if I yeah. took five hours to design someone's tattoo, and then I posted it. I'm so proud of it. And then someone else behind comes behind me, takes the whole tattoo, and does it, and makes I don't know twice as Have much it as ever I made. Have happened before? Not that I oh, one time, but like I didn't do anything. <laughs> but <laughs> it was one time, and it, they didn't do a good job. So it was like whatever, bro. Like mm-hmm. good, good try. Has anybody been like? hated what you did no god not I'm, just they ever, told me. I'm talking ever since from you started it could have been like in your earlier days it might not be now but it could be no been you know what i'm blessed because unless they they didn't tell me i'll tell you that that woo, i'll cry you know what i hate mm. um a lot of people like do tattoos that are just all black and white you don't like black and gray? I don't like black and gray. What? I like color tattoos. I like. Oh. I want to see color everywhere. It's just beautiful to me. Okay. Well, color is pretty, but it fades. It it fades because the the way that color ink is made over time, it just breaks apart. So your tattoo just gonna look like a big mushy thing. Like it's mm-hmm. not gonna look like what it did. Like say you got it today, and it was beautiful, vibrant, detailed. Twenty years from now. No. Mm. So you tell your apart. clients to get black and gray? Um, I tell them they, they can get whatever they want, but I tell them, okay, in the future, it's going to fade out. So you're going to have to keep uh, keep getting it touched up. Some people are like, oh, that's fine. I don't care. And some people are like, oh, no, I'm not with that. I'm, I'm trying to be one and done. So, mm. yeah. Definitely. Is you ready to drop your 16? Oh, my gosh. I forgot about that. Yeah, give me a second. Let me think. Let me think. You know I've been sitting over just chilling. Like, you <laughs> tripping, bro. You know, already I'm sitting here trying to get it done. Let me think. Let's go. Yeah. Check it, man. My girl, yeah. Michelle. Hey. She's in the building, man. Elise. Let's yeah. get it. Let's go. Boss yeah. Talk 101. Hey. Yeah. Shells. Okay. Big dog riding to the beat Keep your baby mama on the leash Pop a nigga right up out of sleep Bad bitch gotta show my teeth I'm the guy this niggas pray to me I'm the guy this niggas pray to me I'm just really used to being ruler I don't like my niggas close to me I'm the bitch that I always wanna see Dream catcher ain't no ghost to me Been flyer ain't no post to me Need gas ain't no close to me I ain't never been into religion Bucky something holy on my feet Champagne toasting on the beach Guess I wasn't only for the streets CEO, CFO, COO Need a hundred to walk to the dough MSG, trans fat, GMO Man you bitches fake than a hoe, door dashed, I'm like shopping in stores. Hate flowers, but my caught me a rose. Wrist loaded, but the diamonds is froze. New designer, I can't help it but pose. Check it, man. Whoa. Hold <laughs> up, man. Let me Ooh, stop that. Oh, that that hurt, up. man. Let's stop that Hold thing. That man, was, she killed that, that, man. Hey. Say, man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, man. Hey, man, and I gotta get started back, man. Yeah, 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 I like that. I like that. That was it right there. Appreciate I know it. when it's it. <laughs> that's it, nigga. I get too excited. I love music, so I know For when sure. it's it, bro. Yeah, man, that that's gonna. That what that what gonna go down on here? Yeah, I already yeah. know. <laughs> no, I so how do you it. how do you feel when you do the music? Like when you writing it and just just vibing out to something like you yeah. know what you just done. Um, I feel great. I I'm a I'm an artist, right? Like we said before, and as long as I'm creating, I'm I'm happy. If I'm not creating, something's not right. So right. when I'm writing, um, I'm performing. I'm in the studio. It's kind of like a form of therapy for me. Mm-hmm. Um, trying to get away from all the other crazy stuff going on in the world. 
turn on the TV, it's nothing on but sad stuff. So wow. when I go to the studio, it's like I'm in, I can make my own environment. I can control what I hear, what I say, what's around me. So, yeah. What would you do different if you could go back and change something, say, when you were... 18 starting out your 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 whole you know your whole run here what would you do differently if you could do something different um if i could the only thing i wouldn't change anything but i would say to uh trust myself more really a lot of things i didn't do because i was doubtful and i wish i did do them that's probably the main thing just believe in myself i'm good i'm gonna be good you are know? you are you single i'm single Wow, so you, are you looking for love in all the wrong places? I have, I have a song called Looking for Love in All the Wrong Places. So. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Um, I stopped looking, though. I feel like it's just going to come to me. It's going to make yeah, it Yeah, when looking for it, you find the wrong people <laughs> every time. <laughs> Man, I just want to tell you thank you for coming on the show. Thank you for having we me. We love you. Yes, love we you do. Too. You did a great job. I thank mean, you. we talked about a lot of things. We did. Mostly tattooing, so I want to be interested <laughs> in watching this one because, I, I, like I said, I, I love the way that... Uh, I mean, we have we had a tattoo artist on no. it before? No. Mm -mm. Oh my yeah, gosh, I feel special. One. Okay. Really? I love that. And is there anything we've missed? Um, anything coming up that we want to talk about? What's your Instagram and all that? Well, we did, but you didn't talk about tattooing. You talked about something else. But we Which did have it? one. Brooklyn. She was on. Not Instagram. only Brooklyn, you had uh, IBYB as well. Yeah, but IBYB, we didn't talk IBYB, wow. Yeah. I work. I, wow, IBYB. He's yeah. at the, mm -hmm. He was at the candy shop, right? right? Yeah. Yeah, like That's I was around right IBYB there. for years trying mm -hmm. to learn. He was doing them names fast. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm about to do these names <laughs> like that. IBYB, yeah. He's supposed to be coming back on the show. Yeah, he's been he's on cool here. people. That was when we first started. Mm -hmm. Wow. Too. That's crazy. So I remember him. that. I was yeah. like, whoa. I remember. I know. He DJ as well. Yeah, he do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Check it, man. Wow. Hey, man. How can, it's a, <laughs> I haven't heard his name in so long. That's amazing. How wow. can people get a hold of you if they're you trying can, to reach out? You can find me on social media, obviously. Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, at Nichelle Elise. And do man. you have a studio that people come to? I do. I where is your studio? I own a tattoo shop called Nichelle Elise Studios. Oh. Named it after myself. Mm -hmm. But uh, Nichelle Elise Studios, it's in Plano, um, off of Parker. Hey. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone had told me to ask you for tattoos. Like, mm -hmm. what's your range price wise? Yeah, you gonna put it out there like that? Yeah, yeah I know. That's I don't think just, so. just make sure you got your money up. Get your oh, money you right. Your you should not even ask, right? Make sure you got your money up. You know, we don't know okay, what kind you of hear, tattoo you, you want. We don't said, know what kind get you your want. Money up. It's an investment. That's a long that's term yeah, investment. Yeah, long term investment. It's the one thing you take to the grave with you. For sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. Check it, man. It's been another. Great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk, man. And we out.